Okay, so this video is to show you how to apply your vinyl transfer. Either you'll have made one yourself when we were working on the computers, or you might want one of the ones that I've made donated to you, or you might not want one at all, but I still want you to learn how to apply a vinyl graphic, how to apply what is effectively a big sticker. This is done in industry in lots of different places, like on the sides of vans and on restaurant windows, so it's, it's a fairly common um, type of graphic to be applied to a surface. And when we do it properly, we get a really highly professional finish, a really high quality image. The first part of this activity is not going to take much to explain. You need to wash your plastic and remove all of the, the film that protects it. Ever since I've washed it, I've kept my fingers off the surfaces and just kept them on the edges to avoid fingerprints. So I'm going to just put that down on this paper towel. It's also on the paper towel to stop the surface getting scratched and I'm going to move it out of the way. Now I'm going to bring in the vinyl graphic. The vinyl graphic, if you can see here closely, has got lots of little bits in it that I want to begin to pick out. So I begin to pick them out just with a craft knife or a scalpel. That's quite time consuming. But you need to take your time, pick out all the small pieces first. If you're getting one of the standard ones from me, there's only three or four bits to pick out that are awkward, and the rest is quite straightforward. Once you've done that, we want to remove the main square of material, and that should just leave the numbers behind. I'm going to work from the corner, I'm going to fold that over and peel back, and the idea here is to try to leave the numerals on the paper. So there's, I think, 11, and it just wants to peel away with the bit that I'm pulling, so I just tap it down with the craft knife so that it remains stuck to the backing paper. Now I'm at 12, and you can see that 12 doesn't want to come away so cleanly, so I'm just going to put the craft knife underneath the vinyl, peel it away a little bit more and gradually just ease the main square area off the actual numbers. Three's been a little bit awkward because there are in fact three different bits to it. If it comes off entirely like that one has there, what I'm going to try to do is ease it on the craft knife maybe get it onto my finger and then just place it in manually. As long as you don't have to do this too many times, you'll still have a good graphic. So I've got a tiny piece here on my fingers, I'm going to stick it to the end of the knife and I'm going to manoeuvre that down to where it came from. Just press it with my finger, a bit of pressure and that's that back where it was a second ago. This one wants to lift up, number six, so I'm going to hold it down with my finger while I peel everything else off round about it. Don't try to rush or go too fast, that's when it all goes wrong, and I'm not going to be giving people a second copy of this. If it goes slightly wrong, you'll use it. If it doesn't go well at all, I'm afraid it's going to be a bit of hard luck. So I've peeled away this square of material, I'm going to put that in the bin now, and I've left behind just my numerals. So my numerals now are stuck onto the, the non-stick backing paper. There's a little surround on mine, you might not have this, but I do, so I need to peel that away also. Just being careful, because I've done the most difficult part now, it'd be a shame to spoil it. Peel that off without affecting any of the numbers. Now you might think that this bit we do next is going to be quite time consuming and difficult. Maybe you think we're going to have to peel off every single number and move them across onto here. It doesn't work like that, there's a much quicker way. Think about it, how else would you put signs on vans and on restaurant windows with letters and numbers? They do it all in one go and they do it using what's called transfer tape. The transfer tape is like a big roll of sellotape. I'm going to cut myself off a suitably sized bit. The teacher will supply this for you so you'll not be cutting it off the roll yourself. And I'm going to pop that down on top of my vinyl graphic. I'm just going to rub it with my fingers, make sure it's patted down tightly on top of the numerals. And I'm going to use this roller now. And I'm going to roll over my numerals so that the transfer paper sticks to my numerals. Do 
do this for 30 seconds or more just to guarantee transfer tape is stuck to the vinyl numerals. Now what I'm going to do is very carefully crease over transfer tape and begin to try to peel away my numerals from the non-stick backing paper. And that's working quite well because I spent a bit of time with the roller. So pop that bit of paper in the bin, so you'll never need that again. And now you can lay out your numerals flat on the table. So note right now, this is the sticky side up. The sticky side is pointing up. Obviously it's important not to get any dust in this, so we should be working in a clean environment, trying not to touch any of the area, least of all the silver numerals, because that is the adhesive that we want to stick to our acrylic. I'm now going to lift my piece of plastic over on top of it. I'm going to look straight through the hole that was drilled in it. And I'm going to lower that down so that it's in the centre of the numerals. And I'm going to try to make sure that 12 and 6 are aligned top and bottom. I'm just going to drop that on now. Now, I want to just take that back over. It's just sitting loosely in place right now. I'm going to be careful to put it back down in the paper towel so I do not scratch my plastic. And I'm now going to use the roller gently at first. Gradually apply more pressure. Especially concentrating the numerals. The longer you take doing this, the better. It means that your numerals will be really firmly stuck onto your clear plastic. And lastly, I'm going to peel off the transfer tape. We'll do this incredibly slowly and carefully. If I begin to spot my numerals coming away from the acrylic, clear plastic, I'll stop, use the roller a bit more. Because I've done my preparation, I cleaned my plastic, I used the roller, I picked away things really carefully, I've got the perfect result. Again, pop your transfer tape in the bin, it's no use to anyone now. There we've got the vinyl graphic applied to the acrylic in a couple of easy to do steps.